breaking news, Diablo Hitters just pulled off the craziest April Fool's prank in the history of Mission Viejo High School. Wait, what'd they do? I'm not even sure, but on Friday... Hey Diablos, welcome, welcome back, back to, to the 7th episode, episode, episode of Diablo, Diablo Heat. Heat. For real this time. If the audio doesn't work this time, <laughs> this segment is cut. Anyway, let's take a look at how Shrek rehearsals are going. Hey. Okay <laughs> guys, we're gonna go talk to the Shrek cast and see what's up with them. I feel like we really don't need the mic for this. What if like I'm walking and you just hear me go <laughs> Here we are. Welcome to Shrek. And then there's no one here. There's no one here. Hi. Welcome back to. Are, is this working? Test, 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 test. Can I work? Can you? Hey guys, welcome to Shrek. If the audio doesn't work this time, <laughs> this segment is cut. That'll be like the last like ending of it. This segment is cut. Cut the cameras. We're going to the stage now. I think. Yeah, what are we doing, guys? Oh, uh, we're actually going to the choir room right now. We're going to singing. Come on. We're going to come sing. Um, this is the choir room where we practice singing. Um, that right there is the piano where Mr. Massey sits, our beloved Mr. Massey. He's not here yet because he's always late. Um, up here is where we sit. This is the high, the, 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 the top, as Mr. Massey says it, the top girls section, and then the middle girls section, and then the bottom girls section, and then the boys section over there. It's just like three guys. It's just like those guys right there. But you know, we deal with it. Um, and as you can see here, um, the piano. This is a dramatic playing of the office theme song. Um, Beautiful art. Ow. This is how I pictured you climbing in to rescue me. Rehearsal this tracks. was always meant to be. Oh, that's lovely. Now hop on. How do you feel? How far along do you think you guys are? Um, 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 like, um, um, it's fine. It's all right. We'll be fine. Um, like, the, the, um, uh, I mean, but like, um, um, that was a lot of ums and ahs, so you might have to edit all that out. Caleb, he's great. As Shrek, his voice is like butter. Oh, Adam. It just, it just flows. You know, I have to add on to that, Adam, because as you, with your performance as Farquaad, whenever you laugh, yeah. it just, it, it hits me there. Hits me in the soul. Thank you. Um, in moments like these, you really understand why you do theater. I have, I have a little anecdote just to sum up. Uh -huh. So well, somebody 
once told me, the world is going to roll me. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. And he was looking kind of dumb with his finger and his thumb in the shape of an L on his forehead. Some, that, that's just uh, something someone once told me. They're crumbling under the pressure. <laughs> Ready? Hey, Raiden, what are you listening to? What are you listening to? Oh, uh, um, the, uh, the ABCs. Let's see what you guys are listening to. Hey, Diablos, today on Diablo Heat, we are asking what you were listening to, so let's, let's go find out. <laughs> What what are you listening to? I was listening to Robson Girl by Mac DeMarco. Robson Girl. Thank thank you. <laughs> now what are you listening to? Uh, I'm listening to some Drake, a little Western Road flows. I'm a one and I'm Eddie Murphy. We trade in places. Very very cool. So we we have a question. What what's your fa- uh, what's your favorite song? My favorite song. Yes. Lose yourself by Eminem. Cool, thank you. What are you listening to? The gummy bear song. I'm a gummy bear. Yes, I'm a gummy bear. I, I think, thank you, thank you. That, I think that's great. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, what, what song are you listening, listening to? This is Jackson Brown. Oh, running on Empty, one of his classics. Running on Empty. Awesome. Cool, thank you. <laughs> we found people listening to music and there's three of them. What are you listening to? What's up? Right now I'm listening to uh, Too Hard for the Radio by Du Bois. Uh, hey, listen up. I'm about to get... What are you listening to? Yo, yo, I'm listening to um, um, Flashing Lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flashing lights, lights. I'm listening to the Fortnite lobby music. Can I give it? Um, shout out, um, oh my god. I, s- okay, I said I wasn't going to do this. Oh, I just want to give a shout out to my hamster that was sucked up by a vacuum a week ago <laughs> by my mother. That's for you. Hey, anyways, anyways, you. y'all, y'all have a good day. Thank you. All right, the hamster. Anyway, let's see how our girl softball is doing. Diablos, today is another episode of Asking the Inferno. Today you'll be coming with me to the softball field. Pop a perky just to start a pop it. Pop it, pop two cups of purple just to warm up. Two cups, drink. I heard you, she got that water. We're here with two of the players, and we have what's your name and grade? Hi, I'm Shay, I'm a senior. And I'm Sammy, I'm also a senior. Hey, Shay, so what position do you play? I'm an outfit, I play center. Sammy, what about you? I'm a shortstop. Great. So, Shay, who is one professional or college softball player you look up to? I look up to Haley Cruz because uh, she's an outfielder for Oregon and she's always going 127% on the field. And I really just like to watch her play and want to be like her. We love to hear that, we love to hear that. Sammy, how about you? Um, I look up to Sis Bates pretty much because she's a good stop too and goes to Washington and it's really good. And she's a good stop. Alright, so what's your guys' record? 13 and 3. We love to hear that. Let's go softball. So what is it like to be 13 and 3? Um, it feels really good. Kind of have a, kind of having a chip on my shoulder. Yeah, we've been doing um, really good this season, and it's been really fun, if anything. Love to hear that. Hopefully, they can go more than 13-3 and three and no more losses for the season. All right, Diablos, we're back with two other players. What are your guys' names and grades? Sophia Elliott, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Haley Stammer, and I'm a junior. Okay, Sophia, what position do you play? I'm a pitcher. And Haley, what position do you play? I play second base. 
Okay, now in both of your guys' opinions, what is the hardest position to play? Mm, I'd say pitcher. I said pitcher too. Why? Because they do the most work. Not the most work, but like you have to like keep going with strikes and balls and go against batters. And then I think because like they have the most pressure on them, like everybody's watching every pitch. That is very true. That is very true. So how has softball impacted your lives? Um, I've made a lot of great friends through playing softball and it's a really just fun sport. And then I think because like I've met some of my best friends and they're like yeah. family to me and it's just a fun sport to play. We love to hear that. We love to hear that. So what is your guys' team like as a collective group? We're really fun and we all have like a really great sense of humor that just collectively goes together. I think we have like really good team chemistry and we play really well together and we're all like super fun. Alright, and that's it Diablos, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Ask Inferno. Good luck for the season, girls softball. Now let's have a word from our sponsors. Are you like this man, wasting your life away playing mediocre video games? What are you talking about? Minecraft is great! But you can be playing something so much better. Now introducing the new and improved Rage Shadow Legends. What? Where's my Minecraft? We've replaced it. What? That's right. With the new Rage Shadow Legends update, we've added a brand new five-star hero with the power to take over your computer. Introducing Boxman. For the holy box. Hey, why isn't this stupid button working? Oh, trying to skip us, are you? What? What the? You'll find that that's no longer possible. We don't appreciate people who refuse our offer. But don't worry, we've got a special place for people like you. Ah! <laughs> Go on and get Rage Shadow Legends before Rage Shadow Legends gets you. And use code RAID for a free helmet cosmetic. We love money. Hey, aren't you the club? Hello, um, my name is Adam, aka uh, Celeborn the High Elf, aka Dungeon Master, aka Adam, um, and welcome to D&D Club, or Dungeons and Dragons Club for the layman watching. Because I am the founder of the club, uh, people really love and respect me. Sometimes I'd even say that people are uh, jealous of me. <laughs> yeah, um, I'd say that uh, the club I created is uh, pretty well known here at, uh, at Mission. What? Yeah, I mean, Adam's great in class. I mean, I don't know what he does outside of school. What? Oh, it's like a club with Raiden, Ethan, and Adam. They like play like a role-playing game, killing dragons or whatever. Oh, them? Uh, D and is a role-playing game where, um, as the name suggests, you uh, explore dungeons and fight dragons. We're a pretty good size for a D and D club. There's three of us. My name is Ethan. Uh, I play. Oh, what's his name? Scorgrim, the dwarf. Um, the club's pretty cool. I mean, Adam can be a little weird sometimes, but. I mean, Raiden wanted to play a mute bard, so now Adam doesn't let him talk between 3.15 and 5.15 on Wednesdays. Other than that, the group's pretty fun. I just wish Adam would take the role-playing a little less seriously. I guess Scorgrim attacks with his axe. Dude, what, what are you doing? You can't break character like that. It takes away from the realness of what we're doing here. We're fighting a dragon. Resume. Mute, what would you like to do this turn? Uh, yeah, the, uh, the only real problem we have is that um, the school doesn't recognize us as a real club. Um, I, I missed the sign-up day, and uh, the ASB director, Mr. Hardy, didn't let us create a club even though we were only like one day late. They were going to be fine with us making the club late, but Adam made us go in character to the meeting with Mr. Hardy.
The guild arrives and we require an audience with the king. What? Okay, guys, I would love to approve your club, but there is one thing we need to do to verify it. What is dost mission for thou to complete for thee? Yeah, so, um... Our guild has a new mission to complete. Uh, we just have to find a suitable advisor and location for our club. And you know what? That should be pretty easy, because we're a pretty charming group of, of guys. You have slain the beast! Shh. Did you ask to do that? <laughs> Unfortunately... Unfortunately not, my sire. Our guild voted against that. You're supposed to be the example. You are the person that I tell everyone, this is the guy. This is who you should look up to. And here you are, standing on rolly chairs, which is incredibly unsafe. Putting signs over my sign. So, as all, all great guilds, um, we persevered. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> nothing, nothing keeps us down. <laughs> yeah, he, he does this every week. Yeah, so that's where the D&D club stands right now. Uh, we're only going up, and Ethan and Raiden and I are only becoming better friends. It's time to quest. May our enemies drown in their own blood. I really should go back out there, but I just really don't want to. I think I'm gonna quit. Hey Diablos, that's all we have for you today. See y'all after spring break. Bye, Bye Diablos. Diablos.